worship, let us all rise for our call to worship. Psalms chapter 100 verse 1 and 2. Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. Let us now sing songs for praise to our wonderful God.
Let us pray. Praise to God for the opportunity of everyone's present. Our request for guidance, especially for the teacher, so that the Word of God can be shared in a meaningful way. Asking the children to be open to learning the Word of God and invite the Holy Spirit to be present in both everyone's heart. This is our prayer in the name of the Father who teach us to pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth at is it in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen for God so loved the world that he gave his only son whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life he is inviting all of us to constantly seek for forgiveness and that will only happen if we confess and humbly ask with our repentant heart let us approach him today as we confess our sins. God sent his son into the world not to judge the world, but to save the world through Him. Thus today, let us once again reaffirm that truth that He came to save us. Be assured that He is listening in Jesus' name. Therefore, be forgiven. Thank you, Lord. is the Bible. Its words are true. God gave His words for me and you. Let us all rise as we read from God's holy word. Let us open our Bibles to the book of Luke chapter 24 verse 32 they ask each other we are not our hearts burning within us while he talk with us on the road and open 
the scripture to us. This is the word of God. Hi kids! How are you today? I hope that you are all doing fine. We have learned the amazing story of Jesus. How he died on the cross, was buried in a tomb, and rose again from the dead on the third day. Have you ever wondered what happened after that? What do you think happened a few hours after his resurrection? Today, I'll be reading Luke chapter 24, verse 13 to 31, on the road to Emmaus. That same day, two of Jesus' followers were going to a town named Emmaus. It is about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking about everything that had happened. While they were discussing these things, Jesus himself came near and began walking with them. They were not allowed to recognize Jesus. Then he said, What are these things you are talking about while you walk? The two followers stopped. Their faces were very sad. The one named Cleopas answered, you must be the only one in Jerusalem who does not know what happened there. Jesus said to them, What are you talking about? The followers said, It is about Jesus of Nazareth. He was a prophet from God to all the people. He said and did many powerful things. Our leaders and the leading priests gave him up to be judged and killed. They nailed him to a cross, but we were hoping that he would free the Jews. It is now the third day since this happened. And today, some women among us told us amazing things. Early this morning, they went to the tomb, but they did not find his body there. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels. The angels said, Jesus was alive. Some of our group went to the tomb too. They found out it, just as the women said, but they did not see Jesus. Then Jesus said to them, You are foolish and slow to realize what is true. You should believe everything the prophet said. They said that the Christ must suffer those things before he enters his glory. Then Jesus began to explain everything that had been written about himself in the scriptures. He started with Moses, and then he talked about what all the prophets had said about him. They came near the town of Amaeus, and Jesus acted as if he didn't plan to stop there. But they begged him, Stay with us, it is late, it is almost night. So he went to stay with them. Jesus sat down with them and took some bread. He gave thanks for the food and divided it. Then he gave it to them. And then they were allowed to recognize Jesus. But when they saw who he was, he disappeared. They said to each other, when Jesus talked to us on the road, it felt like a fire burning in us. It was exciting when he explained the true meaning of the scriptures. What did Cleopas and the other disciples feel when Jesus was explaining the scriptures to them? Yes, they were excited. Jesus was explaining that all the things spoken about by the prophets in the Old Testament has now come true. That the books of the Old Testament prophesied about him, telling the future about him, and what he was going to do. God told the writers of the Old Testament about Jesus so that people would know he was the chosen one when he came. 
they would see him fulfilling the prophecies and know that he was God's chosen Messiah. I will be reading some Old Testament prophecies and let us see if they point to Jesus. Micah chapter 5 verse 2 will be born in Bethlehem. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 will not have a human father. Zechariah chapter 9 verse 9 will ride a donkey into Jerusalem. Psalm chapter 8 verse 2 will be praised by children. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 1 to 3 will be rejected by people. Psalm chapter 41 verse 9 will be betrayed by a friend. Zechariah chapter 11 verse 12 to 13 will be betrayed for 30 pieces of silver. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 8 will die for other people's sin. Psalm chapter 16 verse 10 will come back from the dead. Do you see to whom all the prophecies all point to? Yes, you are correct. The answer is Jesus. God told the prophets that Jesus would do each of those things hundreds or even thousands of years before Jesus was born. It was like God was saying, When you see someone who matches all these prophecies, I gave you, that's the one I want you to believe in. And they all point to Jesus, the promised Savior. Amen. Hi kids! So before we go to our activity for today, let us first ask you some questions about our story entitled The Road to Emmaus. And let's see if you are listening. Question number one. Where were the disciples of Jesus going? That's right. They were going to Emmaus. Question number two. What were they talking about? Yes, they were talking about Jesus and what happened to him and that they thought that Jesus was the one who would rescue them from the Roman Empire who would set them free. But Jesus died and that made them very sad and lose hope. Question number three. Who joined them in their walk to Emmaus? Yes, Jesus. Question number four. What did Jesus tell them about as they were walking? Yes, Jesus explained to them the scriptures, the Old Testament, beginning from the time of Moses to the prophets who prophesied about him. And that he was the one they were talking about the whole time. That he was the promised Messiah God promised to send. Question number five. So, what happened a few hours after Jesus rose from the dead? Yes, Jesus showed himself to his disciples. And that was proof that he is indeed alive. And that shows kids that Jesus is the fulfillment of all the prophecies in the scriptures. Everything in the Bible all points to Jesus, the promised Messiah, our Savior. How do I know that? Because that is what our star verse says today. It is found in the book of John, chapter 5, verse 39b. And it says, the scriptures point to me. Again, our star verse is taken from the book of John, chapter 5, verse 39b. The scriptures point to me. So for our kids' time today, kids, we are going to make a pop-up card that says, The scriptures point 
to me. So all we need for our activity kids are on your screen. So go grab your materials and once you have them ready, then let's do our craft. For those who want to print the activity, just check the link posted on our FB page. And for those who cannot print, I will be posting a copy on the screen for you to follow. So when you have printed or copied our activity kids, this is what we are going to do. Get your Bible and just cut it out. Then let's also cut our Jesus figure to its shape. For this part, just cut this triangle out. This one. There. So what we need to do is fold the figure in half just slightly. And also our tabs. Okay, so before we stick our Jesus figure, now get your Bible and fold it in half. Now get your glue and apply on the tabs. Then just stick it. Okay, let it dry for a bit. Then after, guide the Jesus figure as you close. Make sure it's leaning towards the side. So that, when you open it, Jesus pops out. Again, there. So this craft kids will remind us that all scriptures point to Jesus. So can we say our star verse together? John chapter 5 verse 39b, the scriptures point to me. Have fun, kids! Gold offering Proverbs chapter 3 verse 9 and 10 Honor the Lord with your wealth with the first fruit for all your cups then your barn will be filled to overflow and your vats will brim over with new wine let us now offer our gift to God. God has given us a message in the B R B L E. Every page is full of truth for you and me. He wants us to discover we can be His friend. We need the perfect Savior God promised to send. It's not a secret or Answer's clear. It's J E S U S. J E S U S. Who can see every day? J E S U S. Who is the mighty King? J E S U S. Who can do anything? J E S U S. He can save me from my sin, and that's why I sing. His name is Jesus. J E S U S. J E S U S. God is. Every page 
Let us pray. Father God, thank you for telling the writers of the Bible about Jesus before he was born so that we could see how you planned to send him to earth to save us. Help us to believe in him and to believe in you even more because we know that you had a plan for Jesus and you have a plan for the future too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The love of God, Jesus the Christ, and the Holy Spirit be upon you now and always. Amen and Amen. Oh, 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 oh. Today is the day.